In this module, we will learn to use an output job file, or also known as out job document, to manage various outputs from a PCB design. Within the out job, we can pre-configure various outputs, including documentation, assembly, fabrication, and report outputs. Through this reusable document, outputs can then be generated and contained in predefined folders. In this lesson, we will make use of the Spirit Level SL1 project from the Examples folder. This PCB design project has been completed, and we would like to generate outputs for this PCB to be produced and documented for future reference. Before we get to discussing on the outjob file, the conventional method to create outputs is through the menu options. For example, to create a PDF export of the schematic and PCB, we can go to File, Smart PDF. Within these series of windows, we can configure the documents which we would like to add to the PDF, control the option to generate a bill of materials with the export, and PCB printout settings such as enabled layers. We can also define the bookmarks to be created in the export and the color modes. If exporting a multi-channel design, we can have the choice to export it as a physical structure as well. At this point, we will check to open PDF file after export and disable the outjob file option. Upon hitting finish, the PDF file will be generated. Besides just having the schematic and PCB printouts, the PDF will also contain global bookmarks where we can jump to a specific component. As we left click on a component, its parameters will also be listed on the cursor. As discussed in the previous module, Bill of Materials can be exported through the Reports Bill of Materials menu. For board fabrication, files like Gerber, NC Drill, and ODB++ are required. For assembly and testing, files like Pick and Place and Test Point Reports are to be generated. Like PDF and Bill of Materials export, these outputs can be generated through the menu options as well. By going to File, Fabrication Outputs, we can see a list of outputs that can be generated. If we choose Gerber files, a window would pop out, allowing us to define the units, layers to be plotted, and other options. Similar configuration windows would also pop out for the other outputs such as NC Drill and ODB++. However, it is highly recommended for these various outputs to be configured within the outjob document which can be reused for multiple projects once it is set up correctly as per company and client requirements. We can add an outjob file to this project by right-clicking on it in the projects panel followed by add new to project, then output job file. Within this editor, there are essentially three main panes which corresponds to the three essential steps to configure this document. First, we would add and configure the required outputs within the Outputs pane. Then, we would add and configure the required output containers which will store the mapped outputs. Lastly, if we have project variants, we will set the variant choice in this pane. Let's now add a couple of outputs, generate and store them in the corresponding folders. Notice that the outputs are gathered into functional categories such as assembly, fabrication, and report outputs. We will add a new documentation output for our schematic prints. As for its data source, we will choose Project Physical Documents, which is a compiled document view of the schematic. The term All Schematic Documents refers to raw, uncompiled document view of the schematic, which does not carry any variant nor multi-channel design information. We can configure this output by right-clicking on it followed by Configure. Since this output can be used for PDF or print, we can define its page properties by right-clicking on it followed by Page Setup. 
Since this project currently does not have any draftsman document, we will quickly add one to this project. This time around, we will create it based on one of the default fabrication templates. Recall that a draftsman document can be used as both an assembly or fabrication drawing. Once this draftsman document is created, we will return to the outjob document. Under documentation outputs, we will add draftsman and choose to print all draftsman documents. Under assembly output, we will add pick and place file output and choose the generic PCB document as its data source instead of the specific PCB file name. By doing that, it will allow this outjob document to be reused in other projects which it is later added to. Once again, we can configure this output by right-clicking on it, followed by configure. In here, we can control the visibility of PCB parameters and column arrangements. Its units and output format can also be controlled here. We will also add a test point report under this category. Moving on to fabrication outputs, we will add Gerber files. Once again, we will configure it so that it uses the correct units and its used PCB layers are plotted. Usually, drill drawings are to be included within the draftsman document and not in the Gerber export, so we will not check to generate them here. In general, RS-274X is a widely used aperture definition so we will leave it as checked. Click OK. Following this, we will add an NC drill file output and an ODB++ output. Under Report, we will add a bill of materials for this project. Note that if we have an active bond document within our project, it can also be chosen as the data source. Recall that active bond document is used to facilitate real-time cost estimation and part availability, used in conjunction with supplier data. We can configure its output so that it contains the columns that we require and using the right template. Under validation outputs, we can also add both an electrical rule check report for our schematics and a design rule check report for our PCB document. These outputs serve as a final thumbs up check just before generating the outputs and also used as a record that the design is ready for release. When working in a collaborative team, board exports are required. Here, we can export both step and parasolid files. A 3D PDF of the board can also be included under the documentation outputs. Once we have all the outputs added and configured, we will now define the containers which will store them. By default, a new outjob document will have three outputs, one PDF, folder, and video. Video containers are only used for rigid flex board animations. Thus, we will remove it for now. We can add a couple of additional containers by clicking on Add New Output Container. In this case, we will just choose PDF. Then, we can reorder it simply by grabbing and moving it up or down. Let's click on Change within PDF Container to change its settings. By default, the containers will be within the project folder as denoted by the term Released Manage. If it is to be saved in another location, it can be changed to Manually Managed. We will ensure to save it in a subfolder called PDF. By default, all PDF containers file name will be the out job name which in this case is job1. We will change this to something meaningful like training underscore PDF underscore prints. Under advanced, we can configure its zoom and bookmarks control. We can then link the outputs to the selected PDF container by clicking on the Enable field for the corresponding output. 
For this PDF, we will enable the schematic print and draftsman. We will also link the two validation outputs. The sequence of which this output is generated is denoted within the green circle. Its order can be changed by double clicking on the circle. For the other PDF container, we will once again ensure that it is saved in a subfolder called PDF and rename it as 3D underscore PDF. We will then link the PDF 3D output to it. For everything else, we will ensure to link them to the folder container. Once we have the outputs and containers set up and linked, we can now generate the outputs. We can generate one container at a time by clicking on Generate Content in that container. Let's start with the first PDF container. Notice that the generated PDF will then have all outputs collated within it, where its order is as defined in the outjob file. Let's move on to the next PDF container. Notice that upon opening, this PDF must be trust enabled so that its 3D view and navigation can be activated. Lastly, let's generate the folder's outputs. It will then run through all the outputs and store all the files within the project folder. The generated files would also be open after completion, such as the bill of materials. Now that these outputs are successfully generated, let's explore the project folder. Notice that within unit output files, outputs are neatly organized into subfolders corresponding to the output type. From this folder, files or subfolders can be zipped up and sent to the right parties. If this out job is to be reused in a different project, we can simply right click on the project and click on Add Existing to Project. Then, Browse to the Outjob document and add it. If this project has a different layer configuration, the fabrication outputs which utilizes layer information should be reconfigured. Recall that the data source for the outputs were made to be generic project or PCB document so that outputs are generated from the active project. Once that is done, we can once again hit Generate Content to generate output files for this project. In this module, we saw how outputs can be conventionally generated through the menu options. We then utilized the reusable outjob file to configure all of these outputs and their corresponding containers. In the next few modules, we will learn to create a library of components.